A lot of us will look at the mirror and say, man, why do I look so ugly? I wish I looked like somebody else. I'm to come out of the dressing room and say, I look so beautiful. It's a really big accomplishment. Lolita has really helped me feel like I belong and I have a purpose. Incorporating Lolita with my religion really strengthened my bond to it. For me, I don't change who I am when I'm wearing Lolita. I'm still the same person, I'm just in cute clothes. It's kind of like coding myself in cuteness. It just magically just somehow gives me more confidence to do things. Um, so Lolita Fashion has a strong but small community here in LA, but it originally started in Harajuku, Japan. It's a lifestyle and fashion that's inspired by Victorian and Rococo style. Um, it's very girly and it's very cute, but there is a gothic style to it as well. We like to get together and go shopping, um, go for picnics or afternoon tea. Um, we just all met up at Comic-Con, dressed up, but it's more about incorporating the fashion and style into our everyday lives. In high school, I was also into Japanese fashion. That's kind of when I started wearing Lolita. As I got on with my fashion life, I just experimented more and more and more. Normal fashion, it's just boring to me. And I don't really like how it looks on me anyway, just like t-shirt and jeans, that's kind of gross. Like I don't have any jeans at all in my closet. I always like to express myself through fashion because I'm actually kind of a quiet person, but I feel like with my fashion, I'm very loud. My family's pretty conservative, especially on my mother's side. So I don't really, I never really experimented growing up with fashion. I wore like clothes that my mom bought me because she wanted me to wear polos and khakis and just stuff I hated. Males in my family were very like, you know, into sports, but not me. I was more into sort of artsy things and I guess you could say pretty things. Like I thought that was weird as a kid that I liked that kind of stuff, so I kind of kept it to myself for the most part. But, um, but wearing this fashion, I think it just, it really helps me become the person that I feel like inside. Almost like kind of entering into a fairy tale whenever I wear it. I feel a hundred times more confident and more comfortable. I was born in Saudi Arabia. My mom is from Mexico and my dad is from Syria. So there was a big culture uh, clash there, but they made it work. I am Muslim, so as a Muslim it is required, I guess, to dress as modestly as possible. So, like, non-sleeves, no, nothing above the knees. So that's why Lolita Fashion really kind of hit home because it's something that I could enjoy that was part of the fashion too. Cover your shoulders, cover to your knees, and that it's very modest but girly and feminine. Before I began wearing Lolita, I never thought it was something to, I could do. I always saw, like, pictures in books, on magazines, and websites. And I never thought that it was something that other people outside of Japan could do. Um, so when I first started, it was like a, like a new adventure. Before I discovered Lolita fashion, I was slightly introverted. Lolita forced me into a new environment where I knew no one, but it made me kind of meet people and talk to people, whereas before, I think I probably would have stayed in my comfort zone and just done what my friends did. A friend of mine introduced me to it and she taught me everything I know about Lolita, about the brands, what it is, all the different sub-styles. And we always saw it as this thing that was like a fantasy far off in Japan, like it didn't exist here. The boutique itself is focused on Japanese street fashion. Uh, we created this boutique in hopes of having easier access to the fashion. But for me, being here is kind of like helping the newer Lolitas to spread the word of what Lolita fashion is really about. 
almost all the time I have experiences where people don't know what Lolita is because, you know, it's still a very unknown fashion style. People hear the word Lolita, they automatically think of the book. It has nothing to do with seducing a man or anything. It's just a cute fashion. We get really, really, really upset and annoyed by people uh, who see this as a fetish or a um, obscure culture. The one that annoys me the most, which is, I guess, understandable also, is like people think it's a costume just because it looks so out there and out of the ordinary, but it's not a costume. It's just a very fancy, like, fashion style. When I hear people say that I'm wearing a costume, I get kind of sort of um, a bit ticked off. To me, like, Lolita is definitely um, a lifestyle. So if a pers person says that it's a costume, they make me feel like I'm uh, living in a pretend world. But I'm living in this world with everybody else, but I just choose to dress this way. When people figure out that I am a guy, they usually generally ask, oh, did you lose a bet or are you a drag queen? And it's, it's highly offensive, honestly, because they're implying that this is something so ridiculous and something so stupid and silly when Lolita is very important to me. It's a, it's a part of who I am. I have a twin sister. She is not very um, into it. She kind of um, thinks it's childish and that it's not what a normal girl should do, my age at least. And um, she's more recently trying to accept it though, so I'm very happy for that. My family has always been really accepting of me dressing crazy even before Lolita and so they're kind of used to it. They just all think it's fun and at first every time I'd walk downstairs in a full coordinate they'd all be like ooh ah oh, like amazed and it was always a positive thing but now I don't even get any kind of reaction they're just like all right. My parents have responded to my wearing Lolita really positively. They don't think it's weird or anything bad. My mom she loves it she thinks it's very cute and my dad um, he thinks it's cute too. Of course he prefers this over like really low cut stuff and like booty popping out kind of thing. I mean like I'm not trying to pick on her but I guess for my mother, I was really trying to explain it to her. And she calmly but she said it, she's like, but just like don't you think that there's something creepy about that? Dressing that way, especially as a male, you know, just something off. So sometimes you get a little down on yourself, like, cause you know, I'm a guy and I'm, and I'm dressing the way that I do. When I do get dressed and I put everything on and I just get in front of the mirror and look at myself, I feel a hundred times more confident and more comfortable too. Just, I can talk to people easily. I think it just, it really helps me become the person that I feel like inside. I think you should be allowed to enjoy and love whatever you like, despite what you look like, how old you are, like how small or big you may be. It doesn't matter. If you, if you love it, just be true to yourself and forget about those who hate it. It's kind of hard for me to say, but before Lolita, um, I'm, okay, just recently I've been recovering from an eating disorder. So Lolita has kind of taken my mind off of just what am I gonna eat, like, I can't eat that to what am I gonna wear? And so with Lolita, it's like I have a purpose. Like I, I make a difference in my life and somebody else's life by um, making them happy, making myself happy. And it just, it's an overall win-win. <laughs>
charges me with this like feeling of happiness. You could say it's almost like wearing armor. It's this this sense of bravery and confidence inside yourself when you wear it, and you feel like you can do anything.